with episode 11 under the lights i'm tim got the goat there on the other side of and we're gonna talk about, <laughs> speak. we're gonna talk about week 14 in the nfl and who we think is gonna win each game so the first game on the slate is the jets and the buffalo bills who the jets won last time they did i don't think that's going to happen again though i think the bills will get their revenge yep and uh even with mike white i don't think it matters yeah i feel you i think they're going to get the revenge game i think they've been to be honest i think they've lost more than they've expected this year so I think they're a little pissed off. So, yeah, I mean, they got a good little team. You know, they're definitely going to be around. They're going to be, you know, good in the future. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of those teams to look out for. Um, but the Bills are just, they're different. They're, they're, built, they're built different. And the Jets don't really have enough uh, talent yet. You know, it hasn't been developed enough yet to beat the Bills quite yet. <laughs> and we got the Browns and the Bengals. I picked the Bengals for this one. I don't know how I feel about this game. It was a tough choice considering right. they're both rivals. Mm -hmm. But I want to go Browns because I don't like the Bengals. But the Bengals are obviously better. So I have no reason why to pick them besides the fact that I don't like them. Right. So and I just want to. I just want to win. I just want to win, yeah. <laughs> come, come down the end of the season where it's like you kind of have to put those stuff aside and pick who thinks gonna win. I picked the Bengals too, just because I think yeah they're better than the Browns. How they played against the Chiefs last week was pretty impressive, um, and you know Deshaun Watson's first game back wasn't very pretty. No, um, so I don't think yeah. I, I'm not saying he's not gonna figure it out. I mean he probably will, but I just think it's too late in the year right now. So I think uh, plus then you know Bengals getting Joe Mixon back that's huge. Yeah, that's that is huge. That'll Definitely. Be good for Definitely. Cowboys, Texans. You probably picked the Texans. I picked the Cowboys. <laughs> Should have picked the Texans, but no, I picked the Cowboys too. It's I think it's easy pick. <laughs> easy pick. There's not much <laughs> to say about it. <laughs> yeah, like it just seems right now the uh, NFC is between the Eagles and the Cowboys. So you really don't need much explanation for this pick. No, especially when they crushed, you know, the Colts, you know, killed them. So, for real, it's probably another beat another blowout. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, and we got the Lions, Vikings. I picked the Lions for this one. Yeah. You know, they're favored in this game, actually, right? Are they really? Did they? I think they flip it. I think they're like two point favorites or something. Could be wrong, but I saw that on the. I think it was a Pat McAfee show or something. I thought that they were like two point favorites over okay. the Vikings. Wow, that'd you be see, crazy upset. Well, you see Jared Goff is ranked twenty eighth. Wow, <laughs> quarterback <laughs> uh, Mitch Trubisky is ranked fifteenth. Wow, and, and he hasn't played in forever. Um, who else has been who hasn't played in forever? Carson Wentz, I think, is ahead of him. Wow, and I think Jared Goff is like taught like five in a lot of like categories I'm like top, either top five or top ten yeah, just imagine if that team had a good quarterback wow crazy good defense. it would be but um i picked the vikings um i think oh man i might have to actually switch this one to dude just because he doesn't do good 10 o'clock games uh, kirk cousins he's good at the one o'clock the afternoon games uh but I don't know. I think the Vikings are just, they have so many weapons, man. And I still think the Lions still are a little too inconsistent still, but They're that'd be streak, though. They are. That'd be crazy. That'd be kind of cool if the Lions did win. I would, wouldn't be mad if I, you know, lost a point on that. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Jaguars and Titans. Who you got? I got the Titans. Me too. Uh, I think the Jaguars are kind of starting to show and not play good. Um, but then they do that and they prove me wrong and they beat 
you know, teams that they shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be one of those times. I still think Titans will win. I don't think they have a way to stop Derrick Henry. Um, so, yeah. I mean, they have a way. The Titans, they have, yeah, Derrick Henry. They can control that. So. Yeah. And you're not going to see Derrick Henry fumble another 75-yard run again. No. So. <laughs> it's pretty rare when he fumbles. Yeah. Kind of like Travis Kelsey. Yeah. That was kind of rare. It is rare. And that's a, makes sense why they get, you know, hard on themselves because they rarely ever do it. So, you know, they got to make sure it doesn't happen again. Right. Eagles. Giants. I got Eagles. It's a pretty easy choice. Yeah, there's really not much to say about this. Yeah, I went against the Eagles last week just because I thought maybe they kind of hit a little spell there. Kind of started wasn't playing, but then when they came back and you know played well again, I was like, all right, maybe I chose wrong, and so, so I'm not, not going to choose against them, especially against the Giants. Um, you know, they have been good here and there, but Eagles are just like I said. I think the NFC is between the Eagles and the Cowboys right now, for sure. Ravens, Pittsburgh. Good old rivalry. It's a good little rivalry. Mm -hmm. No Lamar. No Lamar. No Mitch. No Mitch. <laughs> Just Kenny. Pick it to Pickens. Pick it to Pickens. Dude, he's a good little wide receiver. He is. I like him. Dude, Deontay Johnson, it's crazy. He still does not have a touchdown all year. That is crazy. In fantasy, he's ranked 99th still without a touchdown. It's all those yards he gets. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is insane. If he would actually have like five touchdowns, he'd probably be up there. So, Well, I know you picked your favorite team in the Ravens. There's a reason why you're wearing their jersey right now, so it makes sense. <laughs> Go Ravens. Go Ravens. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously you picked the Steelers. Um, I did too, just because they're, like, they're on a little streak. So I think they can keep it going. And Lamar Jackson out, that's obviously huge for the Ravens. So any more reason for me? Yeah, Kenny's pick is definitely getting better. So I think this is just another reason for them to keep going. You know, TJ Watt plays too. You guys just for whatever reason win with him and don't win when he's not there. Just I'll take it. But if he's there, he's there, it's you're probably gonna win. So <laughs> <laughs> <That's> good, chance. <laughs> good chance you're gonna win. So that's kind of why I picked it. percent chance we're gonna win that game. Right. Everything everything he's falls on TJ. <laughs> a linebacker. Right. But who the and let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> let's ride to giving the Seahawks the number three pick. Let's ride the Seahawks to the number three pick. I'll take it. I got the Chiefs again, just like the Bills game. There's not much to say. <laughs> <laughs> really not. I think this is everybody's pick. The only I mean, reason you're 11, picking the Broncos is eleven percent people are picking Broncos. That's so. probably Denver. <laughs> it's probably the city of Denver. <laughs> I mean, I was a part of like that three and a half percent that one week. So yeah, it's just yeah, they're just team is just not not gelled. So see what happens next year. Plus, they've like we talked about before they've gotten injured like nothing. So I guess really hurt. Bucks, Niners. You picked the Buccaneers. No, and this was hard because I don't like the Niners either, but with even with Jimmy G, I, I Dude, still just pick the picked Bucks. him. I'm right not going to pick the Bucks. Just do it. Not picking Brady. Even though they're probably going to win, for some reason, they were all, of course, you know, he makes it's another Brady. That was another game winning drive. And so everybody's like, oh, Tom Brady's the goat again. It's like, dude, he's been terrible all year. And he did it against a shitty team. So. It's not something to really be like <laughs> Google about like, oh yeah, you came back against the Falcons when you sh probably should have not been down what 16 points or however they were down the entire game. So yeah, it's like you should probably beat the Falcons. So, but I picked the 49ers just because I think they have a better team. Even if Brock Purdy plays is the starter. Um, Cause I think he did pretty well last week in yeah, yeah. replacement. So I think he'll keep it up. Just play. Just play to the people you got around you so hey you have a way talented team i mean there's 
throw it to anybody. You can throw it to Kittle. You know, you got Ayuk. You know, obviously, um, Caffrey. You know, Debo. You know, yeah, Caffrey. I mean, Kolb, you know, the go for whatever reason is on the 49ers. I got signed um, the other day. Well, do need a quarterback, so maybe throw you in there. <laughs> I'll probably throw the ball up in like 10 yards. <laughs> it's probably too big for my hands. Let's get this guy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Most accurate 10 yards you'll ever see, though. Right. <laughs> this guy threw a bullet. <laughs> <Douche. All right. laughs> Panthers, Seahawks. Yo, let's go. You got the Panthers, I guess. I should pick the Panthers, right? No, I picked the They're Seahawks. Win. I DJ hope not. I'd be very that'd be very disappointing. I mean, even when they lost to the Raiders, I was disappointing. I don't feel like they should have lost to them. Or even yeah. or even the Buccaneers. Um, but no, I think this one. <laughs> This one I think should be. Yeah, I feel like we're trying to lose anybody. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> you're probably right, but yeah, yeah, I picked Seahawks for this one. Really, the Panthers are terrible. I feel like they got a couple lucky wins, so yeah. I feel like they're gonna come back to earth. And I think the Seahawks are got yeah, saw a little some defense right there, so. Yeah. I like to say Chuba Hubbard. I like I like to say Chuba Hubbard. Chuba Hubbard. It's a funny Chubba name. Hubbard. It's a funny name. Is that Chuba? Chuba Hubbard. Chuba Hubbard or who? Chuba? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it is Chuba. Yeah. But Dolphins, Chargers, Dolphins and Chargers. I got Chargers for this one. Ooh, a little upset here. Going a little upset. Man. Looks like Mike Williams might be back. So him I'm and uh, him and Keenan Allen playing together again. Uh, but I picked the Dolphins. Uh, I just think they're, I think they're pretty good this year. They are um, good. And I don't think the Chargers. They kind of had another down year. I think um, two is questionable though. Two is like always questionable. Just call. She just change his name to questionable. <laughs> <laughs> just be too a questionable. <laughs> too a questionable. Too a, last name. I mean, there's not a lot of people that can say his last name anyway, so I was gonna say too a questionable. Two questionables. Questionables. <laughs> Sounds like those the smackables, like the peanut butter <laughs> chips. <laughs> but yeah. smacking you up, Chargers. Smacking you up. We'll see. I mean, yeah. If the two doesn't play, then yeah, I think Chargers have a good shot. Yeah, but I just picked Chargers. I Dolphins are a good team, but I got some have... upsets in there. Exactly. I was just gonna say you gotta have some upsets. But Cardinals, Patriots. I think this is my upset. Patriots. I picked the Patriots. I mean, it's not really much of an upset. No, <laughs> just going off of what it says right now, it is. But just this, yeah, that's just what record this, wise. Yeah, record wise, it's it, honestly, I think it go, it could go either way. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's more of a game. 50, 50 game. I think yeah. it's a lot closer than what people think. But I picked Cardinals. Yeah, because yeah. you know, the uh, Patriots offense has been struggling. Same with the Cardinals offense. So we'll see. This could be. Uh, I mean, Diop's been on a tear. He has. For some weird reason. It's like the only bright Not spot. There. Yeah. So we should change some swaps and picks. Swap Rooney's. I think you should pick the Jets. I think you should pick the Jets. I think the Jets is a bad pick. I think you should pick the Browns. That might be better. That's not a bad pick. Then you'd pick pick the Giants. Buccaneers. Or I'll pick up. I can. I can. I will. <sighs> <laughs> I'm really trying to give you my ears. Tim is no longer available. <laughs> Call ended. <laughs> Sorry, I'm static. I didn't hear you mean saying that you want me to pick the Buccaneers, so I didn't change it. <laughs> uh, you can pick the Giants. I'm okay with that. I already picked the Buccaneers. All right, I'm pick books. I did. 
And you can also pick the Giants. You also pick the Giants. <laughs> You're in the lead, so you have to pick two. <laughs> Last place is new. I made up new rules <laughs> around the spot. So just made rules as we go, just as you know. So you have to pick two to make it, you know, that way I can catch up to you. <laughs> Makes sense. It's only fair. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think that's it for. Uh... Week, week 14 there. Good old week 14. Well, I missed a couple games last week. Got yeah, 13. you had a good week. You Got needed that. I've had a good couple weeks. About 11 before, 13 last. Yeah, I'm not going to have anymore. I'm not going to have any more bad weeks. I'm just going to separate from the group. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. You're probably just going to win like four <laughs> this week. Damn well, that it. I mean, that would probably win like four this week. No, every time you like predict something like that in my life it happens so watch <laughs> this is a sunday i'm gonna get four wins or five wins it's gonna be low just because you said that that'd be good for me that's not good i need to keep i have a good, I have a good like lead 10 or 11 so that'd be good i need a good lead so but yeah another uh sponsored episode by seat geek thank you seat geek yeah make sure you guys keep using that code under the lights to get 20 dollars off under the lights for your first order green means good yeah maybe we can get rihanna back here again red means bad don't get the red <laughs> don't be a bitch don't be a bitch get the green ones get the you, green want, ones. you want the good deals plus an extra 20 dollars off like that doesn't hurt Helps you, helps me. Exactly. As always, make sure you subscribe and share. Like the video. Be back next week. Peace. Deuces.